Oink, oink, everybody. Thank you all so much for your support and attention. It really means a lot to me. Today, I'd like to go over a few topics that were brought up last time. First off, yes, this Steam Next Fest featured my favorite colors, which just so happened to match the palette of Flophop. Isn't that adorable? Now, let's dive into some of the questions you left in the comments. If you're not a graphic artist, how do you get so much custom art? Do you pay for each piece? Great question. In short, I hire a freelance pixel artist to create custom art. But here's a bit more detail. A while back, I tried doing art for one of my smaller projects myself, but I quickly realized it was too tough for me to achieve what I had in mind. So I started searching for an artist I could connect with creatively. That's when I found Alexandra Liu in 2022. She initially made a small animation for my music video, Licorice Soul Journey. And then in the summer of 2023, she worked on the art for my lo-fi album, Chillex. I was so happy with how we collaborated that I started commissioning her for my game art. She's a pixel art specialist, which is exactly what I needed. The process works like this. I provide my vision, references, and color schemes as possible, then Alexandra creates the artwork, and if needed, we make revisions. That's how all the game art, from tiles to animated cutscenes, came to life. I'm thrilled with our partnership, and her professionalism has sped up development a lot, helping to create a cohesive visual style. What kind of main emotion do you want to evoke in players as they progress through the game? Is there a particular mood you want to convey through the storyline, visual style, or music? The core emotion I want to evoke in players as they progress through the game can be summed up in one phrase. Nothing lasts forever, yet everything is eternal. Every expressive tool in the game is aimed at conveying a broad spectrum of emotions, from the game's color palette, musical atmosphere, and dialogues, to the various lore elements such as the Encyclopedia of Wisdom or the Technical Journal, which you'll encounter in the full version, and of course, the cutscenes that reveal the main storyline as you green the planet and collect fireflies. This emotional range is deeply existential, spanning from anxiety and despair to hope and inspiration. Such emotions are evoked by the themes explored in the story, the feeling of loneliness, the search for meaning and the hope of finding it, the realization of freedom and the burden of choice. What inspired the idea behind Bunny Space Odyssey and the character Ponchi? Were there specific influences for the story or design? Fun fact, I have a lion head bunny named Ponchi and she just turned two recently. I absolutely adore bunnies and pigs, as you might have noticed. The name Usagi01 also comes from the rabbit world. It's the name of a bunny I know. And in Japanese, it literally means rabbit. The story I'm telling in Flophop originally started in 2020 and was set in a human world. But over time, I wanted to move it into the Bunniverse. As for the character's design, I think it reflects my personal journey of navigating challenges and overcoming trauma in our sometimes tough world. And that's all for today. I'll be eagerly awaiting your questions as always. I truly enjoy answering them. Stay oinky and see you in the next Dev Diaries.